Hi, Dry Sir Cuties, Wendy here. Today we're going to draw Wednesday from the Adams family. So let's get started. To draw Cute Wednesday, let's first start by drawing her eyes. So I'm going to come right here and draw two big ovals next to each other. So right here, just draw one big oval. And I'm going to come right across it, but right here, and draw the other oval. So this version of Wednesday is based off of the 3D animated movie. So hopefully you like this version. And so now that I have my two ovals in, let's come to say about right here, almost the center. And I'm going to draw a curve right across. And I'll just flick out a tiny little curve right here. And same thing on the other side. Curve across and then just a tiny little curve. From there, let's come in here and we're going to draw a big curve. So it's basically like the half of an oval. And I'm going to come right here on the side, draw a circle for a highlight and then shade everything else in. There, so same thing on this side. Okay, so now that we have her eyes in, let's come to the top right here and I'm just going to draw a very uh, soft curve, almost straight. So I'll go right here, right over her eye. And then in between her eyes, I'm just going to draw a very small curve, just a small light little curve for indication of her nose and then her mouth. So usually her mouth is a little bit turned downwards. <laughs> this is a cute version of Wednesday, right? So I'm just going to give her a very subtle, about right here, just a very subtle smile there <laughs> and cap it off. And so then now we need to frame her face. So let's come back to where the top of your eyes are. Come to the top and say about right here very close to the eyes. I'm just going to give myself a point about right here. And now I'm going to go ahead and start to draw her face and I'm going to bring it down about right here. So everything about her is very thin and long. So just keep that in mind. And I'm just going to frame her face, draw a big curve. So like always, if it's easier for you to draw her face first, Definitely do that and then put in the eyes. So I'm going to right here in the center and back up. There. Nice and long, right? And now we're going to give her a really big forehead. So a really big oval. So let's just nice and high. I'm just going to imagine, say about right here, right in the center. I'm just going to give myself a point right about there. And I'm going to go up a little bit and bring a curve down. So same thing here. Go up a little bit and bring it down. There. Oh, and I almost forgot. I can give her tiny little lashes right here at the bottom. Maybe five of them. more complete, right? <laughs> Very subtle. Then for her hair, we're going to part it right in the center. So I'm going to go up with a straight line to say about right there. And I'm going to go up on both sides. And then from there, I'm just going to go ahead and bring this down with a big curve, a little bit thicker over here, and it's going to taper down and get thinner as we come down. So I'll just end it there for now because I need to draw the rest of her body first to figure out exactly where I want to put her braids. So let's just bring this down and about right there for now. Okay, so then now let's draw her body. So let's give her a tiny little neck. I'm just going to give a little indication of a neck. And then I'm going to curve right here and draw her collar. So come down. An angle 
right here and then we're going to uh, let's come to the center and I'm going to split it and connect I just want to make sure I'm in the center first there no oh, you know what let's just bring this up make it simpler <laughs> okay so then from there we're going to draw her shoulders come out and down so like I said everything about her is very thin and long so very small little shoulders and then let's come about right here where her armpits would be so about right here and here she's wearing like this dress and bring down an angle line all the way down Let's keep bringing this angle line down. And one more step. Just make it a little bit longer. Oops. About right there. I think I went a little bit too low. So about right here, go ahead and cut it off with a curve right there. And then from there, we can go ahead and draw her um, arms. So let's bring this up. Then here as well. Come down here with a center line. To about right there. And we're going to draw a curve right here for a trim on her dress. Almost forgot about that. And the buttons. All the way down. And let's see, now for her arms. So, like I said, everything about her is very long and thin. So, come about right here. Draw a curve. Curve, and about right there, I'll cut it off. Then we're going to draw this cuff that's on her hand, bring it in at an angle, cut it off, and then her hands. Just a little indication of a thumb and fingers, just to simplify it right there. So same thing over here. So we just want to make sure we're about the same level for the cuff area. So we're going to bring this down. And that's where I'm going to cut it off. Continue. And bring it in. And once again, indication of a thumb and fingers. From there, let's draw her legs. So nice and thin once again, right in the center. I'm just going to give myself two points. And I'll bring this line down. I'll just say about right there and go ahead and thicken it up. And about right there, I'm going to go out for her feet. And same thing over here. and connect and right here i'm going to cut it off for her shoes right there and then now that is pretty much it for her outfit and then let's draw her hair finally right so um because her arms are about right here i want to be able to see her braids a little bit i'll end it about right here so let's bring this down so depending on where you want to put her braids, you can bring it down more if you don't want to draw too much of it. But I'll end it right here. And I'll go ahead and just draw these curves. Come down, straight down. And here as well. And cut it off. Right here straight where it attaches and then bottom part right there. So same thing over here. I'm going to end it about right here. And once 
once again, curve down. And go right there, same thing. Draw a straight line and the end. And you can come in here if you like, but it's all black, so this really can't see much. But I just want to show you, you can make it look like braids just by putting in these curves right here. There. And last but not least, do you have a room for a heart? Do we want to give Wednesday a heart? <laughs> well, let's do that. So let's put it right here to make her my draw so cute Wednesday from the Adams family. I really hope you love how she turned out and that I made this fun and easy for you to follow along with me. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new draw so cute videos. See you later.